Summer school is a hot place. We urgently need ice cream, ice pops, or lemonade. But what to do if no food is still allowed in class? Watch our new video to learn new ideas of how to sneak food into summer class. Phew! It's a real scorcher! It's stifling! Dolly managed to sneak an ice cream into class. She's enjoying the coolness. Miss Smith can't let her cool off. She confiscates her ice cream. Take it easy. My little minion will deal with it. Paint a thermos yellow. Hot glue two little plastic caps using a bridge to shape them like goggles. Paint them silver. Attach toy eyes. Cut out a felt strip. Hot glue it around the thermos cap. Attach the eyed goggles. Cut out red foam rubber overalls. Tape it to the thermos. Attach a pocket. Define the details using a black marker. Put ice cream into the thermos. I don't think your minion is a good substitution for my ice cream. It is! Look! My minion keeps sweet coolness inside. The problem is how to take it out. The blue-eyed girl has solved the problem. She has a special utility knife in her pencil case. Take apart a utility knife and remove the blade. Snip off a wooden spoon handle. Cut out a round hole. Assemble the knife. Insert the wooden handle instead of the blade. Dolly pulls out the wooden stick. It's so handy! She can sneakily enjoy the ice cream right in class. My minion pencil case is just a thermos in disguise. Miss Smith has the same. But she holds school supplies in her pencil case while we keep ice cream in ours. And she'll never suspect anything is wrong. The blue-eyed girl needs a paper clip. She sees Dolly has a whole cup of them. Oops! There's no paper clips in it! It's jelly! Let's take a spoon! Put colored gelatin in a few cups. Pour some water into one and stir. Pour a little colored liquid into an empty cup and let it cool. Cut some strawberries. Put it on top of the hardened jelly. Dissolve the gelatin of another color. Pour the mixture on top of the strawberries to make the second colored layer. Pour the third layer on top of the cool jelly. Repeat the layers, adding strawberries from time to time. Hot glue lots of colored paper clips to the inside of a clear container with a cap. Attach a foam rubber top to the cap. Embellish it with a paper clip. Put the jelly cup into the paper clip container. The blue-eyed girl is eating heartily. Be careful! Miss Smith is watching close by. The blue-eyed girl puts on the cap to disguise the jelly. Voila! It's a paper clip holder again. Miss Smith can't understand what's going on. She can usually smell the food, but now she sees only a lonely spoon. The teacher retreats without finding where the stash is. Phew! We can breathe easy again. The blue-eyed girl is hiding a refreshing cocktail under the desk. But Miss Smith's sharp eye can't let her enjoy the drink. What to do? Should I suffer from thirst? Well, I've got something totally awesome. We can drink lemonade right from the backpack. Cut a lemon in circles. Put them into a plastic pitcher. Add a few peppermint leaves. Pour in some water. Shape a loop out of a long, flexible tube. Hot glue to fasten. Put the long end into the pitcher. Hot glue the top. Put it into the backpack. My lemonade tube works well. Make it handier by putting the loop onto your ear, hidden by your hair. Enjoy the refreshing lemonade in class. The portable lemonade supply system is just what we need in the extra summer class. 
Miss Smith is sick of the heat. She wants to drink her Fanta without breaking the rule. But how can she do it? She's got an idea. She's going to combine her drink with her pencil case. Hot glue a zipper to my bottle. Pull a piece of a foam rubber sheet over the cap. Heat it with a hair dryer to make the foam rubber shape the cap. Attach it using double-sided tape. Cut off the excess. Repeat it for the bottom. Wrap up the rest of the bottle with the foam rubber sheet. Tape it to the fake zipper. Choose the colors that fit your taste. Hot glue ribbon to the neck. Now, Miss Miss Drink is hidden in her pencil case. No one will guess there's a bottle of a sweet drink in it. She sneakily drinks out of the pencil case. It's good nobody sees her, otherwise they would think the teacher has had sunstroke. The blue-eyed girl has a weird pencil. Instead of the lead, there are little marshmallows in it. Make a parchment paper cone. Fasten it in a cup. Melt a broken wax crayon above the flame. Pour it into the cone. Let it harden. Cut out a wide plastic tube. Remove the hardened wax cone. Mark the size of the tube. Cut off the excess. Put the cone into the tube. Trim the tip like it is on the pencil. Fill the tube with mini marshmallows. Melt a little more wax again. Pour it into a small tube piece. When cool, take it out. Put it into the pencil-like plug. Decorate the tube with pattern tape. The girls are drawing with the pencil, waiting for the right moment to enjoy the marshmallows. Suddenly, as luck would have it, the teacher needs exactly this very pencil. She must certainly smell the sweets. She takes our candy stash. And as soon as the teacher starts writing with the pencil, a lot of mini marshmallows drop out, scattering all over. The girls are unhappy, unlike Miss Smith. She adores Marshmallow. She can even catch the candies with her mouth. Or at least she pretends she can. It's crystal clear that we won't see our marshmallows anymore. We're having a heat wave of knowledge in class. It's great we have a cooling folder. What about a refreshing ice pop? Snip off coffee stirs, making them shorter. Round up the corners. Pour fruit juice in insect-shaped ice molds. Put a stick into each mold. Put it into a freezer. Hot glue foil foam insulation into a zipped folder. Trim the edges to fit the size. Put in the ice pop. Mmm! Wonderful ice pop insects! This caterpillar has come to save me from the heat. And this snail is even tastier. But Miss Smith is the craftiest beetle. It's scorching hot, and she knows for sure that the girls must have a cold sweet stash. Aha! Here it is! Miss Smith helps herself with an ice pop, and she becomes even happier right before our eyes. The art class can be easily combined with a nice snack, in case you transform your brushes into banana sticks. Cut peeled bananas into big pieces. Snip off the bristles of your old brushes. Melt the bristles left over above the flame. Put a banana piece on the brush handle. Spread condensed milk over the banana. Cover it with sprinkles. Place it in the freezer. Put the cool banana sticks into a brush cleaning cup with a cap. Dolly takes off the cap and takes out tasty banana sticks instead of brushes. Help yourself, it's delicious. But the blue-eyed girl has her own secret dessert. Is she really going to eat acrylic paint? Humph, it smells like sweet sorbet. What is it there inside the tube? Cut a banana in circles. 
Put in some strawberries. Mash it together. Put the sorbet into a clean tube of acrylic paint. Hot glue the cut edge. Cool it down in a fridge. The blue-eyed girl eats her paint sorbet right out of the tube. Mmm, she definitely enjoys the weird paint. And I keep gnawing on my banana brush. The subject of the sweet class is summer fruit. Did you like the ideas? Then write in your comments how you survive your extra summer classes. Do you drink lemonade right out of your backpack? Or eat sorbet out of a paint tube? Or sneak an ice pop in a thermo case? And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you don't miss new refreshing ideas on the Troom Troom channel.